where do you see medicine going in the future? And does AI play any part in this? What, what do you know that's coming? AI is here now, and I, I use it every single day. Um, and AI misses some stuff and it overcalls, and that's okay. But it's an extra set of eyes that doesn't get tired, like me. Um, and I'll always do my own read. I'll run it through the AI, and I'll see if it's picked up something that I haven't picked up at. Um, and the two of us work well together. There's no arguments. So <laughs> where do I see medicine heading? Um, I reckon in 10 years' time, you will go and see your medical geneticist. You'll get a map of your DNA. You'll find the faulty genes and the end organs that those faulty genes affect. And then we'll get a short list of what those organs are, and you'll put them on the radar. And the radar, like we said before, has to be a camera that doesn't cause cancer because we're trying to prevent cancer. So you'll get your genetic tests, faulty genes, faulty organs that they affect, whether it's pancreas, whether it's prostate, breast, and then you'll get extra special MRI scans of those faulty or potentially faulty um, end organs, um, as well as your whole body. And then we basically wait for it to develop or not to develop. But at least we've got eyes on. So if something does happen, we have caught this thing at its earliest stage, which is your best chance of uh, a favorable outcome. 